Hey, Scott here. There I was, about to get out of bed and face the challenges life had for me that day. But then the trauma came back. Traffic violations. Why was this the Mario Kart to really break the ice with humanity? Well, I'm glad I asked. Allow me to introduce my three-step program to be just like Mario Kart Wii. Step one, release on the Wii. Step two, commit five traffic violations. Step three, contract scurvy. The idea of driving with an actual wheel? Like what? And this is how the audience reacted to the Wii Wheel? A custom Wii Wheel that makes its debut with Mario Kart 3. Yep, this was my hell. I don't like how the title screen is the same as the box, which 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 is the same as the- Actually, early in development, they considered the title Mario Kart XXX, but then settled on Mario Kart Live Chuck- I wish I knew that when I was younger. I bought food. I could have bought a second Wii wheel. See, Mario Kart Wii introduced something big. You shake your controller at the last second, you can perform a traffic violation. Honestly, a fantastic addition to the gameplay. This was a big pill to swallow, I had to think about this one a lot. Rosalina from Super Mario Galaxy, that's a great new character. She is unlockable, you have to gank high on all the Mirror Mode Grand Prix Cups, but if you commit 50 traffic violations and have a boner on your Wii, she can be unlocked that way. Of all the other characters they could have chosen or brought back from older games, no, boner. But I saved the best for last. We have the greatest addition to the roster. John C. Toad's Factory, a behind the scenes look at help. I really love the theme of this track. You could download the Mario Kart channel to your Wii home screen to get up to date with Mario Kart Wii info without needing to put in the disc. I'm free. I'm free! But the Mario Kart Wii channel actually still needs the game to play races and I acted a little prematurely.